Good day YouTube, Stormy Ascent is back yet again for another part of Let's Play WWF Warzone. This is part number two in this part, we are going to face Headbanger Thrasher. So yeah, this should be an easy match, I hope, and I hope I don't end up swallowing my own words or something. Of course, my why does my emulator always lag whenever I start these recordings? But then if I press like F7 or something, it always like meteorates, so to speak. So yeah, you know, using my fancy, fancy English as I do. But okay, uh, I guess if I press F7 twice, that will do something. I hope. <laughs> right? Okay, it's clearly not. Oh, right? That that was weird. Okay, press it again. Okay, I think that worked. Okay, so yeah, I'll skip past the introductions. I I only wanted to show that once and. I guess the wrestlers don't really enter the ring, they like freaking stand on the uh, entrance way and yeah, that's all that really happens. But yeah, Thrasher is like one of the weaker wrestlers in this game, so that's quite nice for us. So yeah, I apologize by the way if, if either the quality in this part is poor or the quality in the last part was relatively poor. But yeah, I, I kind of, I'm in the future, or, or not the future, sorry. I'm in the past right now, so I can't really tell. I'm getting my ass kicked because I just got a brain buster there, which is not nice to get. Oh crap, no. No, stupid uh, head scissors, right? I, I apologize if you can hear my controller like mashing and all of that, but yeah, not much I can do about that right now. So yeah, I can't do anything, what can I say? But yeah, so I learned how to do, do the uh, Donald stretch at least, so there's a positive there. I also learned that my signature move in this game is the Hurricane Rana, which makes no sense because Owen Hart's signature move is obviously the Enziguri. Everyone knows that. But yeah, okay, now Thrasher's getting like chanted for and Owen Hart did a kip up there which is something that only he and Shawn Michaels I think can do in this game so that's interesting to note. I think you have to have a certain amount of speed in order to be able to do a kip up so yeah that's pretty cool. Um, now uh, something I didn't get to show off before is that when I when you perform a belly to belly suplex in this game and okay that didn't work there. Right usually you uh, throw your opponents outside of the ring and I'm trying to do that now but it's not working. But yeah in WWF Attitude and this game you're able to do that and I remember I didn't used to know how to throw uh, people out of the ring during Royal Rumble matches in WWF Attitude so I used to have to do that instead. Which was pretty funny. So I used to have like I used to choose Kane, and I used to do um, the uh, overhead belly to belly, and like always eliminate wrestlers like that. And right now I'm like bullying Thrasher by uh, kicking him off the apron and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm not sure if you do more damage outside of the ring. I don't think that's the case, but yeah. Um, you can tell that you're about to get a chant going when your um, name kind of like is highlighted in blue and stuff like that. So. Yeah, if, once I do that, okay, I was going to say once I did the neck breaker, I should be able to, uh, no, crap, no, 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 I need to remember how to get into the ring, okay, come on, that's it, okay, I held all the shoulder buttons and managed to get back in, because I had an incident with that before where I almost didn't get back in, but, um, yeah, uh, yeah, as I was trying to say, um, when your, um, thing, like, it's highlighted in blue and such, I think that's, I, I'm not sure exactly what that means, really, um, it seems that when, when it was highlighted in blue and I did a move, okay, Thrasher's just did a kip up, so I guess he's able to do it as well, but yeah, I uh, get highlighted in blue and then I did a move and then it got times two damage, so I don't know if that's what that means, but yeah, you know, I'm still figuring out the mechanics of this game myself, so there you go. Okay, yeah, I did get a chant going for me, so there you go. So, yeah, um... And uh, as I explained, you know, you do double damage when you do the chance. So, yeah. I remember when I was in school, like, this idiot that I used to know was all, like, telling me that when Thrasher had his last match, he was, like, it was on, like, Sunday Night Heat, and he, he was crying or something. I, I don't know. I can't, I, that's something, about, that's, like, the only thing I can really say about he Headbanger Thrasher, to be honest, because that's all I really remember. And just that one thing that that guy said to me, he's all like, oh, yeah, he was he had his last match, and he was crying, and I, I don't know what he's on about, because I've never found any, like, evidence, evidence of this before. But, yeah, if anyone remembers that match, then please tell me, because I'd like to see that, because I'd like to see that heartfelt moment when Thrasher had his last match into WWF which he actually won so yeah um I guess Mosh I was gonna say he went on to better things but he didn't really because he had the gimmick of beaver cleavage <laughs> and um he then became like I don't know he was in D'Lo Brown and he became like a Muslim thing or something like that I don't know I can't even remember what that tag team was it was like D'Lo Brown and Chaz <laughs> I remember that was his name in that tag team Chaz <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Good times, good times. But um, yeah, uh, Beaver Peeve was probably the highlight of his career because uh, he did like this weird promo when it's like, it was like a worked shoot where he like said, I can't do this like live on air. And it, it was supposed to be like he was breaking the script, but of course he wasn't really. It was just Vince Russo trying to like fuck with everyone <laughs> as he always does. So yeah, but um, yeah, right now I'm kicking ass, so that's good. So I might be able to fit in two matches in one part. And I'm, that's very, you know, nice indeed. Um, I Hopefully, I, I really don't want to do a cage match soon because I'm really not good at cage matches, to be honest. Well, I, I say I'm not good at them, but that's because I don't know how to escape the cage. Because remember, in both WWF Attitude and this game, I used to just like get on top of the cage and then like press everything apart from like square because obviously if I press square I'd do a planche or something but yeah I used to press everything in order to just climb down and then eventually it would work but I st to this day I still do not know what exactly you have to do to actually climb out of the cage so that's really annoying but yeah I'm gonna run away from Thrasher here because he's like oh crap no 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 why did you do that no oh God. he's gonna get a chant go oh yeah of course he did Oh my god, that was annoying. <laughs> yeah, in this game, and in WWE, how did you for, for the record? You can, like, run into the corner, and then, like, freaking, yeah, that happens. You, you get stuck in the corner, but okay, there we go, that, that worked. So I'm going to keep on kicking him off the uh, apron. Okay, no, that, that didn't work. Okay, crap. I'm just going to stay away from him then, I guess. Do my old spinning. No, 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 no. Uh, one thing I should mention is that the CPU gets harder whenever they have a chant going for them and they're able to counter moves as well. Or not, not, not that they're not able to normally, but they counter moves more regularly when they have that going. So, yeah, I thought I should note that. And now I'm going to do the old... Okay, I can't remember the combination, so one minute. There we go, right. Right, right, up, square, X. Okay, yeah. So, um, I don't know what you have to do in order to... Like, I thought that when it gets to the count of 10, you win. But apparently not. So, yeah. Uh, okay, we're coming up to 10 now. 11, okay, right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be full when you get to 10 or... I don't know, to be honest. I have no idea. I don't know if I'm supposed to be even mashing any buttons while stuff's occurring. But, yeah, um... One cool thing about Owen Hart in this game is that he can do a uh, shooting star press, so yeah, and uh, one minute, let me try and do something here, uh, okay, torpedo drop, oh cool, you can do the Lita Kanrana, come on, yes, get in, yes, I called it Lita Kanrana because that's what I've always known it as, so yeah, um, because it's a move that Lita used to always do when uh, she was in the WWF and she was really cool and a lot of people slag her off and I never really thought that was, well, she kind of like got fucked over by, by the WWF in that regard because uh, they kind of just like, you know, oh, crap, I forgot the combination for the sharpshooter, but yeah, that's one thing I never liked, how they just turned her into like, you know, the hoe and all this shit I and mean, she really deserved a lot more respect than that because she was like a really, really great performer who freaking broke her, kind of broke her neck for the company, or, no, D did she break her neck while she was wrestling, or wasn't it like, no, it was something else, it was like, like, when she was like doing a stunt in like some TV show or something, but, yeah, I don't know, um, this is great, it's like, you know, that's what I should be talking about the game, but, you know, I'm just ranting on about, well, something that's relatively relevant, but, yeah, um, okay, uh, I'm gonna do a good old Simone drop here. Yes, Simone drop. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, here we go. So, um, friggin', I'll just do a friggin' small package and win the match. I wanted to win with a sharpshooter, but no, I couldn't. So, yeah, there you go, small package. And that's the end of that chapter. So, yeah, uh, in fact, I'll probably just split each match into separate parts just to keep things kind of short. So, yeah, there we go. So, Omen Heart wins by pin. So the next part will be going up against Headbanger Mosh, I believe. So, yeah, and I don't know if we're going to get some kind of special match type for that, but we'll see what happens. So, yeah, uh, until then, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.